can be so also be v by a uh, distance of e okay right so this distance of e okay you have to offset then the twisting is eliminated so when twisting is why do we want to eliminate the twisting anyone so when the twisting is eliminated all right then uh then the formula tau is going to be q over i t can be what can be applied so what we are do trying to do is you guys heard the term right uh, square peg round hole we're going to force it through regardless whether we work or not we're going to we're going to we're going to push it through so the only way to push this through is we have to calculate the what the sh uh, the, the the offset Okay, and then once we have this offset, we get rid of the what? We get rid of the twisting. Okay, so the 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 position O or the O position is also known. So there's a term for it. Okay, that is also known as the shear center. Okay. Now, question for you guys. This will only work on thick wall and not thin wall. Can anyone tell me why, please? Correct answer. One pint of beer. Because of the shear flow? Uh, like... No. Think more simple. Why this, this will only work in thin wall and not thick wall? Because it can uh, stand it. it. Hey? Because it can. Okay. Can I? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Stand the because thicker is more stiff. Yeah. In thick wall, there will be no twisting. Yes or no? So for thick wall, so when when the structure is thick, it's more stiff. Yeah. So with thick wall, During loading, okay, no twisting is observed. So that's why this is only for what? So this theory will only apply, right? to thin wall analysis right it will not apply to thick wall analysis for that reason now let's look at the the, the formula right let's look at the let's look at the cross section so now this is the the cross section now okay so on the left hand side so on the left hand side there is no offset E. Okay, there's no offset E. Whereas on the right hand side, we have that ox offset that is equal to what? E. So to remove the twist, right, to remove the twist, so where, where you see that the V is applying directly into the beam, whereas the V over here, there's a what? It's offset. Okay, the shear flow, there's an offset. Okay, so to remove, Okay, so to remove, let me make sure you can watch this. So to remove the twist, right? The shear force needs to be applied. at a certain 
distance away uh, from the structure. Okay, so this distance, the distance E, okay, is also known as shear center, like what I've written before, right? So if you look at the force, now, if you look at the force, if you look at the forces now, right? So the force F and F prime, right, is equal to the integral between point A to point B, okay, and Q multiplied by dS, okay, where Q, if the shear flow, S over here is the distance, okay, or it can also be, if you want to use shear stress, you could, so it's B, now from A to B, the shear stress multiplied by T multiplied by dS, where T is the thickness. Okay, 14 watt analysis. So if we were to, I'm going to copy the image again. So if we were to Right. If, if 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 I were to call this point over here to be C, right, and then this is my distance S, right, and over here we have a force, the, the horizontal force, we call it F, okay, the horizontal force we call it F, and then over here is coming back as F also, right. So now, if I want to draw a transformation, if we have to control transformation, this is your x, sorry, this is your y, z, and rotation in your x, right? So if we were to take some mention about moment in the x direction at point C will be equal to what? Zero. Okay, so what we have, right? So if we were to call this distance from here to here, and then here to here, from the shear flow, okay, from the F to be H over two, then we have, taking the moment at point C, we have F multiplied by H over two, plus, right? V multiplied by E, all of them are going in an anticlockwise. So we are taking moment at point C, all of them are take, uh, rotating the structure in a clockwise direction, plus by F, H over 2 equals 0. So V, E is equal to minus F, H over 2, plus by, not, not plus, then minus F, H over 2. So from here, E is equal to minus what? E will be equal to minus FH over B. All right? When is the going, you have a minus sign down here, means it's going to be on the left side of the what? Of C. When it's positive, it's going to be right side of C. Okay, so the magnitude, so this is known as, so So therefore, the magnitude of the shear center, if we just look at the magnitude, we don't want to know the direction, E is equal to F H over what? V. Okay, but when there's a minus sign, it will act on the left-hand side.
Okay. So you need to find E. Okay. So we need to find E. You need to find E so that so once you have E, okay, so, so that with E, with the shear center. E, okay, the structure were deformed without twisting, okay, and tau equal to VQ over IT can be applied. This is the most important thing. So, so we are not going to learn any new formula. We're just going to offset it, and then we can apply VQ over IT. Okay. So, so far, any questions so far, please? Anyone? Um, so, we're doing this because the offset center uh, will have the same bending profile as the one with the, uh, that's the original shape, right? Yeah, without twisting. Once we have twisting, this formula does not work. If there's twisting, if there's twisting, we have to incorporate we have to incorporate the formula where I wrote earlier where shear stress is equal to what when there's a twisting uh, where's the formula where maybe I wrote it before when there's a twist we have to apply this formula but we don't want to incorporate that formula one we want to take it out because this formula over here from what most of us has, have learned is usually for round section right this is not a round section. This is a rectangular section. I mean, you can find shearing stress for uh, rectangular section due to twisting. Okay, I, I'm not sure that Dr. Koshi teach you is possible, but for this case, the analysis we eliminate the twisting effect. Okay, any questions so far? I have a question, Eugene. Can you yep. just, uh, if you try to find the um, twisting on this, uh, can you just subtract it from the shear? Like, have like a total shear? Say then... it again. If you if you like uh, try to find the uh, shear like the the twisting, yep. due to the shear force, and then can you just subtract like the total shear minus that shear due to the twisting, and that's Depend yeah yeah right. Depending on the direction, you're absolutely right. Okay, okay? you're absolutely right. You can, but I don't think in in shearing uh, twisting due to TR over J formula, I don't think you guys were taught how to calculate in a rectangular section. Am I right? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, you guys were only taught in the round. That's why I'm incorporating this. All okay. Right. Anyone, any questions? No, if that's the case, I will see you guys on Thursday. Okay. Thank you. Um, so Eugene, in thick wall sections, uh, there is actually bending. It's just negligible, right? 